Hi, I'm Wayne and this is Bastoral Woodworking. Today we're going to do a little bit more work on the desk. Truth be told, we're not going to be doing that much work. I got my second COVID vaccine yesterday and I've been battling like a hundred and hundred and two degree fever all day. But my fever has dipped down to normal ranges, so I'm going to get some work done while I can. I'm going to limit the work today down to cutting the tabletop down to size and then doing the first round of sanding and finishing of the desk in the top itself. I still need to build the entire structure on top of the desk and then get all of my holes and everything for power drilled. That will be a separate video that will probably be a bonus one next week because I don't want to do too many videos all on the same project. I want to keep it to maximum probably three parts. Using my giant aluminum bar as an edge guide, I cut the tabletop to 63 inches using my circular saw. I gave the tabletop an initial sanding and then proceeded to sand and route the drawer faces and slides. As of right now, I have not made a definitive decision on what I'm going to finish this desk with, but I have a feeling I'm going to just keep the natural wood color and possibly just coat it with a couple of coats of polycrylic. So I'm gonna try that out on the drawer faces first, see how I like it. It will be easiest to remove it from the drawer faces if I don't like it and then refinish it with something else. I put on a thin coat of gloss polycrylic. This finish goes on a milky white and then dries to a high gloss. It's been a few days. I got sidetracked with some other stuff, but I'm back to finish the desk now. I purchased some new hardware for my computer setup, so the top half of the desk needs to be rethought. But in order to do that, I need to start installing the desk to see where I have space and stuff like that. So the goal for today is going to be to sand and finish the main shell of the desk and then get it in place. And then I'm going to build risers and stuff like that to fit the equipment that I have. I'll make everything with enough of a margin of error that if I replace any hardware, something of a similar size will fit into the space. On the plus side, the polycrylic on the drawer faces looks fantastic. So that's going to be my way forward. Um, my first task is going to be to give everything a once over sanding, and then I'm going to start applying edge banding to the top. I applied edge banding using a normal clothes iron, making sure to go slowly to allow the adhesive to fully melt and then letting it cool for a couple of minutes before trimming it with a razor blade. This is when I started to notice a problem with my iron. of a status update. I think I burned out my iron. Um, I power cycled it a couple of times. It doesn't seem to be getting any warmer. Um, my wife would probably be very angry if I destroyed our like in the house iron. So until I can go out and buy a new cheap iron, I'm going to just use some pin nails to hold on the edge banding. Um, I will then just have to, when I get a new iron in the next day or so, just run it over it to melt the adhesive and hold it in place. Pin nails were an utter failure. Hey, another status update. Pin nails, since they have no head, are too small to hold 
the edge banding in place. A brad nail will have too much of a visible head, so I don't want to use a brad nail. Um, same issue with staples, so I need to think of a new temporary mounting solution for my edge banding, of all things. So, it's going to take me a couple of minutes. I've been completely unsuccessful in finding an alternative method to attach the edge banding temporarily. I tried brad nails, they looked terrible. Um, there is an adhesive backing on the edge banding, so I can't just use regular wood glue. Um, so I'm going to need to go and get a new iron, but I don't have time to do that today if I want to finish any part of this. So the plan moving forward for today is going to be to finish the desk, attach the top, do everything I was going to be doing, but I'm not going to finish any edges that are going to require edge banding. Um, I will sand them and prep them for the edge banding, then when I have an iron, I will apply the edge banding, trim the edge banding, and then apply finish to the edge banding. I used some number 8 screws to secure the tabletop to the desk. I could have very easily mounted the top in a way that would not show the screw heads, but the exposed screws are part of the whole desk's look, starting with the face frame to the tabletop. I then applied polycrylic to the rest of the desk. Once the first coat was dry, I lightly sanded with 320 and then 400 grit sandpapers between successive coats. Everything now has a coat of the polycrylic. The tabletop and the drawer faces have two coats now. Um, I will let those sit, see how smooth they feel after, and if they need another coat, I'll give them one. The main body of this will only have a single coat. No one's gonna to be touching it. It's gonna just be my desk. Um, so I'm gonna start disassembling this so that I can bring the pieces into the house. Um, I can then start taking some measurements for what size um, risers I need to build. And then I can kind of decide what those are gonna look like. The desk is now in the house, um, minus the top. I still need to do one final sanding on the top and then check if it needs another coat of polycrylic. The tabletop is the most important part, so if it takes three or four coats of polycrylic, so be it. While I was inside, I measured my current desk and my monitors and computer to see what I needed for a riser. And it looks like I need the riser to be about five inches tall and it needs to be about the length of the entire desk, which sounds a lot like a lot, but it actually makes the construction of the riser way easier. I decided that the riser will not be permanently connected to the tabletop. I feel like that will give me the best shot at modularity in the future. So I'm essentially going to create a box that will sit on top of the tabletop. It'll have a few rubber feet and all of the gear will weigh that down enough that it's not going to go anywhere on top of the desk. I'll just make sure that I have enough room on each side that if it slides a little bit, it's not going to tip all my stuff and ruin my day. I begin work on the riser by ripping a cutoff piece of 3 quarter inch plywood to 10 inches. This will be the depth of the riser. It was then over to the radial arm saw to cross cut the plywood to 60 inches. This will be the width of the riser. I then cut the remainder from the board twice to 18 inches for the base of the riser. I could then grab some more scrap pieces of 3 quarter inch plywood and rip them down to about 5 inches. I will then bring them back to the radial arm saw to cross cut them down to 10 inches. It was then over to the dedicated dado station to cut the required rabbits and dados in the top and bottom of the riser. So 
I made a little bit of a mistake cutting my dados. I cut this one on the wrong side of the line. Um, so that sucks. So to fix that, I'm going to just cut the dado over on the right side of the line, and then I will fill back in this space by just resawing a scrap. Um, yeah, that sucks. After fixing the errant dado, I could assemble the riser using some wood glue and number 8 screws. I used pin nails to hold everything in orientation while I drill and drove the screws. out really quick especially for just kind of winging it and abandoning my plan altogether it still looks essentially like what my the idea in my head was but it's just a lot simpler and, and now it's now modular so that's nice so I think that's a good place to leave it for now in the next video I will do the finishing on this I will finish up the tabletop and then we will do the full assembly of the desk so thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with new projects as they are released. And until next time, thank you.